Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath, here to do another problem as part of the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshop Series. Today we're going to do number three on the General Curriculum Math Subtest. According to an article in a financial journal, a company earned $3.5 million last year. Based on this report of the company's yearly earnings, a person reading the article estimated that the company earned an average of approximately $30,000 per month. Which of the following statements best describes the reasonableness of this estimate for the company's average monthly earnings? A. The estimate is too low by a factor of 100. B. The estimate is too low by a factor of 10. C. The estimate is too high by a factor of 10. And D. The estimate is too high by a factor of 100. This is a cool problem, but we're going to start by just looking at the answer choices here. Notice how, imagine you're driving in your car. Everyone has, uh, a lot of people that are listening to this have cars. Some people are like me and they use public transportation. Like the subway, I use the subway. So I don't have a car. But you can imagine, if you're driving your car, I don't know what color car you have or what type of car you have, but you've, you've probably named your car some really cool name that only you really appreciate. But you're driving your, your cool car and uh, you come to a fork in the road. Now if you go this way, you're going to get to where you want to go. But if you go this way, you're going to get to the wrong place. Well, these MTEL problems are a lot like that. Because you have to decide if you're going to go low or you're going to go high. And if you're totally stuck on the problem, but at least you know the estimate is too low, you're going to increase your chances by 50%. If you could just eliminate two of the choices, you're going to increase your chances of getting it correct dramatically. So this is a major strategy. Eliminating two of the, two of the chances, um, in the fork, getting, identifying the fork in the road with the answer choices, and eliminating two of them is going to greatly boost up your scores. Because that means every time you you're come to a problem where you're not 100% sure on, but at least you can eliminate two answer choices, wow! makes a big difference on your results. It will increase your um, accuracy rate on the ones that you guess at. Okay, enough about that. Let's solve this problem. I like to think of this as a, I like to draw pictures. And in this case right here, there's a company. And the company, they made a, uh, they, it says here that they earned 3.85 million. So you know what, let's just write it out company made last year three million eight hundred and fifty thousand over the course of the year. Now this person comes along, let's call this person Joe, or person person Pete, and they make an estimate. They say, hey, per month three million eight hundred and fifty thousand comes out to around thirty thousand per month. Now is this accurate? Is this estimate low or high? Well, because it's in years and months, it's kind of hard to deal with. So what I'm going to do right away, I think it's easier for me to multiply as opposed to divide. I'm going to take this 30,000. I'm going to multiply it by 12 months. A fast way to do this is to do 10 times 30,000. That gets me 300,000. And then 2 times 30,000. That gets me 60,000. But, you know, at the end of the day... I'm going to get to the answer of 360,000. So why don't I just uh, take all this and you know write in 360,000. Oops. Now, if I'm looking at 360,000 versus you know 3,500,000. I'm sorry, 3,850,000. I'm going to look at this estimate and I'm going to say, you know what, it's too low. So I'm going to go with this way. But how much is it too low by? 100? A factor of 100 or a factor of 10? Well, you know how in this problem it used the word like estimate a lot? I mean, I'm not just uh, making this up here. They used that word 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. That means we could have estimated this to 4 million. And that means we could estimate that other answer here to 400,000. Now if I do my divisions 
uh, if I re reduce by factors of 10, I can cross out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I get 40 over 4, which can reduce to 10 over 1. So this person's estimate is 10 times lower than what it should be. In this case right here, the answer choice is B. Thanks, team, for watching. Again, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. Sign up for some one-to-one -one tutoring. Keep on working hard. Have a great day. Thank you.